Hey everyone, this is Kieran from Eccentric Physio. Uh, today's exercise is going to be looking at our middle scalene muscle. So it's a muscle in our neck and it helps move our neck sideways. So not so much the head, that's not really what I'm you know, worried about here. It comes for the ride, but I'm looking at more the neck. And so if you feel like when you go sideways like this, you have trouble either in here on the side part of your neck or on this side of the side part of your neck, then this might be a muscle of interest to you. It's also a muscle that can be involved in thoracic outlet syndrome, um, and more, whether it's a vascular or a uh, neurogenic origin. Um, so it might be of interest for you if you've had some uh, a diagnosis of that. But um, a, a useful ability to get back, particularly if you've lost some of this ability to move the lower um, part of your neck sideways. scaling muscle, um, we need to consider its attachment points, and its attachment points are the transverse processes of most of our cervical vertebrae of C2 down to C7. There's going to be different anatomical variants, um, but then it connects down onto our first rib. So where a muscle connects means that it can act on that area, which means that this muscle can be an accessory breathing muscle, so it helps pull the rib up to help us breathe in, um, or it can help move our neck sideways towards that other attachment point. So depending on what your issue is will be how you train it. Now if it's a breathing issue, I would honestly just go out for a, a big old walk um, to start with, maybe a hill, get a little bit out of breath so it feels like you're kind of lifting the chest up a little bit and you'll be working out that scaling. Um, if you're not sure, you can always put your hand up into this area and if you feel the muscle sort of tightening and contracting as you breathe, then happy days. Um, there might be some more specifics for the individual, but that's a good start. For the neck mobility aspect, which is more the focus of this video, we want to consider our start, our start position. So I'll show you a couple different views and hopefully we can get sort of some um, good understanding of what we need to do. Now, we've got to consider that this is purely a lateral flexor. So it's not like our anterior scaling, which we have another video for, that has um, you know, some capacity to flex and rotate based on its attachments. The uh, middle scaling is just pure side flexor. So if I lay on my side, now some of you may need a pillow to start with because you haven't got the neck mobility or the scapular mobility to relax your head onto the ground like this. So if you're hanging down this way and there's still some dead zone here, space, and you can't um, get your head to relax, put a pillow or a little yoga block, something just to fill that space for now until your neck gets a bit stronger and more mobile. So I'm going to think about this temple portion on the side of my head here, and I'm going to think about going towards my collarbone, okay? And that's kind of where this attachment is, right on the side here. So I'm going to be looking straight at you guys the whole time, and I'm going to just bring my head up sideways, and then back down, sideways, and back down, okay? And as I'm doing this, things might start to get tired, and so I might start to do other funky things to help out. I might try and twist a little bit, I might bring the shoulder up a little bit, kick my traps in to help out. I might start even like looking certain directions, just trying to use other muscles to help. So pick something to look at, and just move your head up and down, and think about bringing that side of the head here towards your shoulder, all the way back down the whole time, up and down, okay? Trying to build up a lot of tolerance here and a lot of reps. Now, for some of you, this might be quite aggravating. The amount of reps that I've done could seem like quite a jump or quite a lot. Maybe you just start with two or three reps, slowly build up capacity. Um, if you're not sure on the prescription side of it, better to get some advice from a local therapist um, or you know, have a look online. There's some articles available or um, just, just be cautious in that these muscles, if they're um, atrophied or weak, then the potential for what they feel like afterwards when you've worked them out can be quite uncomfortable. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, another consideration would be that if you have any other sort of, not necessarily cranial nerve symptoms, but uh, vascular of origin symptoms, so we're talking about things like VBI, so this vertebral basilar artery, because it's going to be getting compressed and extended through this movement, so more of an older population potentially, but you know, make sure that if you're getting things like, you know, dizziness, double vision, 
uh, numbness, difficulty swallowing, speaking, if you're, you're fainting at all, if you're feeling lightheaded as you do this, that you go and get, you stop right away and you go and get double checked and go to your GP and just get clearance that, oh yeah, my, my arteries through this area are actually safe and good, along with the veins as well. And um, it's, I have permission to continue with this exercise because that will be a slightly different management before you embark on a musculoskeletal management. Super, super important. So if you have any of those symptoms, stop, go get checked out, okay? Um, otherwise, after that, maybe get some guidance from a local therapist and show them this video and see if you guys can come up with a, an exercise plan that's accurate and specific for you. Um, just give you guys one last little view so you can see kind of the deviation or lack of that we're talking about. So if I come straight on into this position, I'm looking straight down the end of the room there, shoulders up here nice and straight, and I'm just going up and down, up and down. Okay, so I'm not twisting at all, I'm not looking up, I'm not looking down, I'm not going forward, I'm not going back. You probably might see a little bit of that as I do it, but I'm trying to just stay straight up and down, okay? And what you'll start to feel is a bit of fatigue in through the side of the neck here, okay? So if you have any questions with this, please let us know. Um, as I've said, there's some precautions around this exercise, so just make sure you get double checked if you have any of those symptoms that I listed, and you know, just be uh, aware and take responsible for your own uh, health and well-being, okay? If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.